Hello, and welcome to It's All About You, the best show about you on the internet. I am B. Dave Walters, life strategist and spiritual coach. This is episode 11, Friends. Before I go on, though, I am having a, a birthday celebration holiday sale on my website, peacelovemoney.com. Everything is half off. There's a spot at the end of the video that will explain it. And for my international brothers and sisters that are having trouble signing up or uh, downloading anything on the website, I explain that at the end of this video also. So stay tuned. Like always, I want to start with a quote. A friend is like one soul inhabiting two bodies. This is by Aristotle. A friend is like one soul inhabiting two bodies, okay? Which is beautiful, but not always how it really works out, right? Now, I've had a lot of people asking me questions lately about toxic friends, okay? But believe it or not, before we can talk about your friends and your relationships with them, we got to talk about you and your relationship with you first, okay? Now, I've said again and again, you've got to love yourself. When you look in the mirror, just think, you're great and I love you. You're great and I love you. You don't have to say it out loud. Just say it internally. If you're having trouble doing that, though, really, that just shows you how mean you've been to yourself. Honestly. I mean, if you can say it to babies, if you can say it to dogs, you know, and cats, you can say it to yourself. Because if you don't love you, how can you expect someone else to love you? And more importantly, no one else can love you more than you love you anyway because you won't let them. All right? And it's the same thing with friends. If you don't like you, how do you expect anybody else to like you? Right? So your friendship is actually kind of interwoven with your, with your confidence. Because you may have seen that old demotivator up there. It's de uh, dysfunction. It's like a chain with a single link breaking. And it says the only thing all your dissatisfying relationships have in common is you. Okay? Think about it. I think I've said this before. You show me the ten people you spend the most time with and I will show you you. Okay? They probably think like you do. They probably make around the same amount of money you do. They probably have a similar political outlook, spiritual outlook. You know, they're probably averaged out you. And if you look at the 10 people closest to you and you're like, ugh, I'm not them, that means it might be time to do some house cleaning because you can scratch with the pigeons or you can fly with the eagles. Okay? I don't mean to make them sound like they're bad people. They're not. But we're all going different ways in this life. And some people are never going to move out of the town they were born in. Every week they're going to go out clubbing and drinking. You know, what sporting event is on TV is the most important thing to them. And that is fine. God bless them. But if you're trying to become, I don't know, a concert pianist or a huge actor. Somebody's calling me. Who is it? Oh, I call them back. If you're trying to become some huge success and your friends are not trying to become huge successes... Then in the long term, you're going to have to surround yourself around people that are trying to go the same direction that you're going. Okay? See, because the definition of what it even means to be a friend is changing. The internet has changed it. Social media, things like Facebook, MySpace. I can tell you for certain, I talk to people every day in London, in India, in Prague, in Italy, in other countries I'm probably not even thinking of that I consider my real, true, and genuine friends. That I share things with them, and they share with me, and I care what's going on with them, and we talk about intimate, private stuff. And sometimes I talk more to them than I even talk to people that I'm face-to-face -face with. You know? And, you know, it used to be that if you couldn't be in the same room as somebody, you couldn't really call them a friend. But I honestly don't think that's true anymore, especially with Skype and webcams and stuff. I mean, if you can look in a person's eye, you can look in their eye. What difference does it make if they're on the other side of the planet, right? But what friends are supposed to do, remember I said before that a relationship, when we talked about love in the previous episode, a relationship is supposed to lift you up. You're supposed to be able to accomplish more when you're with the right person than you could do alone. That's what it's for. It's not to complete you. It's not to make you whole. It's not to fix you. Your happiness does not depend on another person. Your happiness doesn't depend on anybody but you, by the way. I had to say that to somebody today. Your happiness only depends on you, okay? And friendships are the same. In my mind, a friendship should be a lot like a romantic relationship minus the sex, honestly. Now, I'm a little unusual in the sense that I don't really have many barriers. <laughs> For the most part, if you ask me something, I'll tell you, I don't have any secrets, right? And I know not everybody's like that. And it's fine if you're just a private person. 
that's fine. There's nothing to say that you got to bear your soul to everybody or bear your soul to anybody, to tell you the truth. Some people are just private. It's fine. When it becomes an issue, though, is when it's insecurity-based. When you don't want to let anybody in because you're afraid of what they're going to see. When you don't want to let someone love you, even as a friend, when you don't want to let them love you because you're afraid that they're going to see something about you and not like it and leave you. And so you keep them at arm's length. See, it's too easy to get caught up like that. But why? You know, and it's like, well, they might betray me. They might betray my trust. Well, they might. They might. But would you rather go through your entire life keeping people away and pushing people away and not experiencing the true and deep intimate relationships? And I don't mean sex. I mean emotionally, personally intimate relationships. Or would you rather just always have your guard up, always have this wall up, always have defenses up? Now, I'm not saying that you should walk and bump into somebody at Ralph's and be all like, oh, hey, you're my new BFF, or my best friend forever, by the way. Uh, but if somebody seems cool, if your instinct is that they're nice, and they haven't done anything to show you that they're not, what's the problem? Share something with them. Why not? Open up a little bit. If you don't have communication, you don't have anything. It's just like I said in the romantic in the romantic episode. If you cannot talk to this person, you got nothing. Okay? Now, something that ends up happening, though, is some of these friendships turn toxic. Especially ones that you've had for a long time. Because people get stuck relating to you in a certain way. People start seeing you in a certain way. It's called having a certain listening of you. It's a weird way to say it, but it's a weird way to say it on purpose because it makes you stop and think, well, what do you mean, listening of me, right? It's because people you've known since high school still see you through the lens of high school. You might be a totally different person now, but they're still going to remember you from the prom. They're still going to remember you from college. They're still going to remember you doing Jaeger bombs. And if you don't know what a Jaeger bomb is, then... You've had a nicer life than I've had. <laughs> so, it may be necessary for you to form new relationships with new people that you can start over with a blank slate from. Because there's a lot of people that you've got in your life right now. The only reason you've got them in your life still is a lot of shared experience. You went through a lot of things together. But that doesn't mean that they're really friends. And like always, I'm going to split this now for my brothers and sisters on YouTube. Make sure you watch part two. Everybody else, stick with me. Here hey we go, buddy. B. Dave Walters. In honor of all the holidays that are taking place in February, like Valentine's Day, Martin Luther King Day, Abe Lincoln's birthday, George Washington's birthday, Black History Month, my birthday, which is on February 18th, I'm holding a special holiday sale on my website, peacelovemoney.com. For this month only, everything I have listed is going to be half price. So you can get the electronic copy of my book, 49 Lost Secrets of Peace, Love, and Money. You can get it for $5 instead of the usual 10 My programs, How to Create Your Life in Your Own Image, which is a PDF and a podcast that explains how to know what you want, how to think and arrange your life in a way to make it happen, how to meditate and connect with God and the universe to get all the help that you need. My program, Money, 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 The Spiritual Path to Wealth, which is also a PDF and a podcast. Um, you know, explain who you have to become to attract more money into your life, why it's important to have more money in your life, and most importantly, a summary and interpretation of The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Waddles, which is the foundational book behind The Secret. This was the book that inspired Rhonda Byrne to do The Secret. So, um, that's also a PDF and a podcast. And my coaching service, my daily inspirations and help and working with me, all of that's half price. So instead of $25 and $50 a month like it usually is, it's going to be $12.50 a month and $25 a month for as long as we're working together and you're one of my clients. As always, thank you for your support. You know I'm working to try and do this full time. Imagine what I could accomplish if I didn't have anything else to do all day but write articles and produce videos and try and change the world and make it a better place. So thank you in advance. I appreciate it. God bless you. PeaceLoveMoney.com. Come check it out.